everybody and welcome back to the Washington way so I hope that you enjoyed all of the clips from my bridal shower let me tell y'all just the backstory so I told my matron of honor Candace um, when she was like what exactly do you want for your bridal shower I don't want you to have anything to do with the planning or preparation for it so literally just tell me what you want and I'm gonna make it happen um, the first thing I thought about was one flowers, um, but specifically some flowers because that's my favorite flower. But the backstory to the flower is when I was in college my freshman year, I used to attend these small groups with the church that I went to that was on the campus of Florida State University. And a prophetess had told me that um, I was like a flower. I was beautiful, delicate, and admired. And she went on to tell me all of these amazing things about me um, that I quite didn't, you know, feel for myself at the time. I was really insecure. I just didn't think I was beautiful or all of these other things. I did end up growing and developing into the woman that I am today, who is very, well, I won't say very confident, but confident and um, just still yet a work in process. It's wet creating a good self image of myself. So when I walked into that room, y'all, I was just so excited to really see um, all of the flowers. It was fresh floral on all of the tables. Just everybody, you know, just smiling and excited to see me. It was just such a beautiful moment. Shout out to every single person who had a role in making my bridal shower probably one of the best days of my life. Um, and making me feel like I was really being showered. Everybody showed out with all of their gifts, although that moment was more than much more about gifts. But um, y'all got me exactly what I asked for, so I thank y'all for that. Um, let's see, what else would I like to tell y'all? Going on a honeymoon, it's not gonna be anything, um, you know, extravagant or anything like that. We will probably save that for our one year anniversary to do something that we both would like. And to be quite honest, we've gone so many amazing places 
and have so many trips planned to other amazing places that we haven't really thought of our dream vacation spot because a lot of places that we've been were dreams like Dubai and then we have other trips that we have planned that I can't say for or when or why. So yeah, make sure y'all like, subscribe and share. We will continue to bring you content as it comes organically. Um, the next thing for me is attending my friend's bridal shower this upcoming weekend. We are going to have to go back to Orlando to get our marriage license. And then he's going on his bachelor trip in about two weeks. So we have so much coming up, y'all. So y'all stay tuned so y'all can know what's going on with the Washingtons. See y'all later. Thank you for watching.